Hi, this is David Dusek, Senior Writer for Golf Week Magazine, and once again, you're inside the winner's circle. Today, I'm very happy to be joined once again by Chris Tooten from Titleist. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing great, David. How about you? I'm really well, thanks. Well, Zach Johnson won the 2013 BMW Championship at Conway Farms Golf Club just outside of Chicago, Illinois. Let's take a look inside Zach's bag, and then Chris will explain to us a little bit of the inside story about some of the golf equipment that Zach is using. Zach's driver of choice is a Titleist 913D2 with 8.5 degrees of loft and a Mitsubishi Diamante Blueboard 73X shaft. His fairway woods are a Titleist 713FD with 15 degrees of loft and a Fujikura Mitori Speeder VC70 shaft. And he also uses a Titleist 913F with 17 degrees of loft and a Fujikura Zcom Pro 95 shaft. His hybrid is a Titleist 909H with 21 degrees of loft and a Fujikura Speeder 904 HB shaft. For iron, Zach uses a Titleist 712 AP1 4 iron as well as 712 AP2 5 iron through 9 iron. And that has a Tom True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shafts. His wedges are a Titleist Vokey Design SM4 48 degree pitching wedge as well as spin milled 54 and 60 degree wedges. And all of those have True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400 shafts. Zach uses a Seymour FGP Black Putter. And his golf ball choice is a Titleist Pro V1X. Chris, one of the interesting things I think that uh, I had a chance to, to observe this year earlier was you and Zach did a lot of work I saw late in the uh, spring and early in the summer, especially at the Players' Championship, tinkering around with driver shafts for Zach. Can you share with our uh, viewers a little bit about what you guys were looking for and what Zach is currently using? Well, that week Zach had called me before and was asking about some lighter weight shafts. He plays as David said, a 73-gram uh, Mitsubishi Blueboard shaft, and he was looking for something lighter to gain a little bit more distance. So we, at TPC, we actually went through about three or four different shaft combinations for him, and there, were, there was a shaft or two that might have given him a few more yards, but the shaft didn't load the exact same way that his Blueboard had loaded, and he sacrificed a little bit of accuracy. So... Um, Zach went back to the blue board and obviously has had a great year so far. This is something that occasionally we do uh, with players. They're looking for just a little bit more distance or a little different ball flight, and they go through a few shafts to find that. And it's, it's that trade-off for the most part that you as the rep who's working with them, and I'm assuming you, you work a lot with track man and sort of obviously the player's eye, you, you have to work with them, and it's, it's that balancing act really, isn't it, between adding, as you said, a, a few more yards for Zach, who I'm sure would love to add distance to his driver, but, but his, the bread and butter of his game is really striking and hitting a lot of fairways, and, and I would imagine sometimes it can be a little bit tricky trying to get that harmony together with guys. Very much. You know, when you, when you gain a little bit on distance, you might, you might lose a little bit in terms of accuracy. You'd love to have both, but um, it's, it's kind of rare that you find both. Uh, and when you do, you've, you've found a shaft that you play with for a long time, which is like Zach's Blueboard 73. Uh, but occasionally you're looking for something a little different, and, uh, and the players do that from time to time. One of the interesting things also about Zach's bag is he carries both the 913FD in his 3-wood and the 913F uh, in his essentially a 4-wood, kind of 5-wood club. Can you tell people who may not be familiar with those two clubs, what are the differences between the 913FD and the 913F? Uh, the 913 FD is a larger headed fairway wood. Uh, it spins less, and players like this club. It's a little bit gives them a little bit better of a, a driving club, possibly off a tee, uh, where they'd have to hit uh, certain golf courses. They might want to use a fairway wood more often. And the F is a is a little higher spinning model, not a very high spinning model whatsoever, but higher than the FD. And Zach uses that club because he has to use that club to attack pins. So he's looking for trajectory uh, out of his five wood. He's looking for a club that's going to go in and land soft because Zach's not one of the longer players out here. And there are uh, occasions where he's going to have to utilize that uh, 913F 17-degree uh, club to go and attack a pin. Now, you talk a little bit about trajectory, and, and I think that's sort of where we're going also with the iron. Zach is not alone in this, and he carries... Um, a slightly different long iron than the rest of his mid and short irons. In his case, he uses a 712 AP1 4 iron. That's his longest iron. And then he goes the AP2s through the rest of the set. Is it really a trajectory uh, issue, which is why he went with that? Or can you give me a little bit of a backstory as to why and how he came about adding that one slightly different club, a little bit more game improvement club, if you will, as opposed to the rest of his set being AP2s? Well, a couple of years back, uh, Zach gathered his team together at the end of his year 
and we went over his stats. And the one thing that Zach uh, was missing in his stats, he was he was not as highly ranked from 180 yards to 200 yards. Uh, he was very good from every other ranking all the way down through his bag, but uh, what we figured was the trajectory that he was looking for uh, really didn't give him an opportunity to go at certain hole locations. So we just decided to try to come up with a, a, a alternative for him that would give higher trajectory so his ball flight would be uh, a little bit higher and coming down a little bit more straight than a ball coming down at an angle where he'd hit firm greens and it might chase through the back of the green. So that AP1 went in the bag, and that would have been about two years ago, and it's been in the bag ever since. Gotcha. Well, we'll see what happens this week at the Tour Championship. Obviously, Zach's been hot. Enjoy your time down there in Atlanta, Chris, and I uh, really appreciate you once again coming inside the Winter Circle. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Cool. And once again, thank you very much for coming inside the Winter Circle. This is David Dusek for Golf Week Magazine.